Welcome to Max's Garage Mahal. I just want you to know what we're going to look at here today is a product of the Andersons. And it's a great product, we understand. And today we're going to talk about absorbents. And these absorbents could be for oil, sludge, uh, transmission fluids, water, cold drinks, any type of spills. Could be anything. So we're going to test something here. We've got a product from the Anderson Corporation and it's a uh, sustainable product that we're going to test and um, they make a, a claim that this will absorb up to five times as much as Dow Tenacious Earth here and as you can see this is strictly a I've closed out all of the labels on it. It's just an oil absorbent, speedy dry, kitty litter, whatever you want to call it. But it's Dow Tenacious uh, clay, which means it's um, an oil absorbent made out of clay is a baked clay so that it's more compact and when it gets wet it absorbs and expands. So we're going to test this Anderson's Dry Zorb. This is the premium, premium all-purpose dry absorb, and uh, like I said, it's uh, it's sustainable, and it's good for all kinds of of spills. And um, matter of fact, let me zero in on this right here. Let's see if you can see that. All right, and the claim is that the absorption rates of water weight to weight absorption is 100% for clay if it absorbs 100% this will absorb 500% so one bag of dry absorb equals one bag of leading competitors of the same weight or volume alright this is 10 pounds this is 10 pounds and as you can see this volume is greater than this however the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do it like the average get this back out where you can see I'm going to do this like the average homeowner because I'm going to do this as if it was just a home shop and all these tests could literally be for a commercial use as well such as in an auto shop or a diesel shop or hospital places like that where they have other kind of fluids that you might want to absorb or need to absorb so I'm going to show you what we're going to use to put this out here in and it's um, we're going to try to keep this relatively scientific although as you can see since these will probably be disposed of immediately thereafter you can probably tell that these things are just uh, a vase or a vase depending on what part of the world you're from so what we're going to do by volume we're going to put let's say three inches of this Dow Tenacious Earth in this beaker then we're going to put three inches of Dow Tenacious of this um, and by the way this is a corn cob media and you can get this and it's got several different names it's like 10 or 12 different names you can buy this under and uh, depending on what you want to use it for they got really fine or really coarse so you can purchase this from Anderson's uh, site which I'll put a link to the, and I'm not getting paid for this by the way I was just curious about this I ran into uh, Mr. Mr. Anderson's the uh, father and son at the 2019 GIE Expo in Louisville Kentucky and I thought it was pretty interesting so uh, I wanted to, and I, I did reach out to them, and they were gracious enough to supply me with this media. So we're going to test it against other people's and just see where it goes. But we're going to try to do it so that you'll understand that we're not going to give them any favoritism here. We're going to do several tests. Some may be just a little bit unorthodox. So y'all stay tuned. And let's get to it. Let's see what we can come up with. We'll be right back. 
Okay, we're back. So let the test begin. So I'm going to go down here. I've already opened this bag because it's sort of involved. I could have just slashed it open like I'm going to do this. But what we're going to do here is I'm going to do this this way. Because I tried to save the other bag so it have a nice smooth top on it. All right. Keep that on as long as I can so you can see the name. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to take this jar... And this was a Bon Maman Cherry Preserves bottle. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this much oil dry. And that is 13 ounces of liquid weight. Okay. Take 13 ounces, and I haven't even looked in the bag yet to see what this looks like, so it's going to be interesting. 13 ounces, that's actually a little over full, so let's put a little bit of this back. There we go, and we're going to pour that in here. All right, now that looked pretty fair, guys. Now let's get down here on that so you can see it. There you go. Now let's get in here a little closer. Alright. Now this is my mason jar that I drink out of on a daily basis. I have a large one and a small one. This is 2 ounces, 4 ounces, 6 ounces, 8 ounces, 10 ounces. And I tried to get that as pretty close as I could depending on if it's set level or not. There you, there you go. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to pour in two ounces into each one. Alright, maybe a little bit more. Alright, there you go. Now then, we're going to pour two ounces in this one. Let me fill, let me top this off. That way you know I'm not cheating anybody. Okay, here I'm back. There you go, it's refilled. We're going to put two ounces in this one. Alright, there's two ounces. Now let's see what this looks like. And I believe it can hold. I believe it can hold more. So let's do this. Let's go ahead now and put two more in it, which is going to make four. show you this. Okay. So it's got four ounces in it. Let's go ahead and let's put go ahead and touch this up. Okay, we're back where that was now. Okay, so now we're going to put two more in this one, which is going to make four ounces. Okay, and it looks like we still got quite a bit more, quite a bit more absorbent space here left yet. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pour two more in the oil dry.
Whoa. Let's see. That's about an ounce right there. And as you can see, we have more than met our... So, at less than five ounces, more like four and a quarter, was probably all that could absorb. Okay. So, now I'm going to fill that back up to that mark where I just left from that one. All right. As you can see, we're right back where we started when we poured it in there. So we're going to go ahead and give this two more ounces. All right. Boy, look at there. Still got quite a bit of this that hadn't even got any moisture in it yet. Okay, so we've got, I'm going to call this five ounces. And we've got six ounces in this. So I'm going to go ahead and give it these last four. So that's going to be ten. Now, let's watch it go down together. Just making sure you can see it. Oh, look over here. See those air spaces right there? That means up absorbing it. And it's lifting as it absorbs, which means each one of those particles are expanding and absorbing that fluid. And you can see the water. Let me see if I can get where you can see it. You can see the moisture seeping down through here. Let me get over here and see if I can see it from your side here. Can you see it dripping through here right now? now that's pretty neat, guys. Okay, so we got five ounces over there. We've got ten ounces over here so far, so that's two to one. And I believe it's going to absorb that just fine. Now watch this on top as I sprink this from the bottom. Can you see that? Hey, don't even smell bad. Actually smells like corn cob. <laughs> Smell like you've had a Sunday lunch and, and you're uh, just finished chowing down on your corn. All right. All right, let's see how much moisture comes out of that. Still got some that's still on the top. Okay. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We've got 10 in it, and as you know, this holds 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We'll hold 12, but we're going to go ahead and get 10 more ounces of fluid. All right, there you go. Now, we're going to go ahead and put two more in it. So now we now have 12 in it. And I wonder if I can shake it out or make it absorb any faster. I mean, it's not really how fast it absorbs, it's how much it absorb. And as you can see here in the bottom, we still got quite a bit. So it may be, actually, there's only a little bit of moisture right here. I wish you could see that. I don't want to turn it up because it's got fluid in it. Can you see that right here? Only right there in that one little spot. So, we'll see if I can shake it up and down and make it. I'm trying to make it absorb faster for you guys. Because I know this is going to be a long video. But hopefully I'm going to make it fun for you here in a little while. Because I got something up this sleeve. Well, okay, that ain't much. Alright, but it is something. Alright, so 
how much is that guys that's 12 right okay two more that's 14 ounces 14 ounces and you can see it making more pockets in here and you can see that's going can you see that you can see it's making a rivulet there so it can go down a little ravine and that means this is lifting which means it's absorbing guys all right so now that's 14 ounces let's make it 16 there's 16 Now then, let's see if it will allow me to find another rivulet here for you. Now you do realize, and I want to be clear with this real quickly, most likely you're not going to have this three, four inches deep. You're only going to spread it on a spill at a certain level. Let's say you've got a spill across the floor generally a spill is going to be you know that deep not going to be very deep and if it is going to be very deep you got a big swag in the floor you need to fix that so anyway um there we go let's see if i can get that where you can see it check this out right here so it's going to absorb that looks like and let's take a look at this again well that is all the way through Looks like mud, doesn't it? You know what? Sometimes dirt does make mud. When I was a kid, we made mud with uh, water and dirt. Mama sure didn't appreciate it too much because she washed her clothes, bless her heart. And uh, I got them dirty a lot. I mean, you can probably figure that out by now. All right. Now, it's only got this much fluid on the top of it but look how this has grown from here to here already i mean it's doubled its size and as far as looks like doubled its volume and the reason for that is it's absorbing this fluid so let's go ahead and let's put the last four ounces in it which means we can go away and set up for something else and uh, when we come back Check this out, guys, before we go. Look here. Solids all the way up to here. That is, it's expanded up to five inches already in depth. It started out to right there. Now it's up here, so it's well over double. And uh, you can see this fluid is, is basically settling down through there. And um, and we still have we still have places for the water to go. So I feel like uh, I feel like we're going to get there. Now before I leave, I'm going to fill this up again. Put ten more ounces in it. By the way, I'm going to tell them myself because I always tell people when I test their products, I'm going to abuse it. I'm putting hot water in there. Cold water and hot water. Hot water penetrates more. It's, it's not denser by any means, but it'll go more quickly into a product than cold water. So I'm using hot water here just to let you know. Now, it's out of the tap, and it doesn't steam. It's out of a little electric water heater, so it's not going to have steam off of it because I got set down pretty low. And because uh, I had somebody complain, first person that washed their hands in there, your hot water is way too hot. It could hurt somebody. Well, it's just a matter of opinion. So anyway, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go away. I'm going to set up another experiment and let that absorb. 
and we're just going to see uh, see if that stuff completely absorbs it like we think it's going to. So we will be back here shortly. Okay, we're back. So now we have our measurement going on here. And as you can see, it's got a little liquid on the top. It's pretty much graduated all the way through. Now I'm going to tell you something. For <laughs> I did cheat a little bit for time on it. I did poke a couple of holes in this. It's still bubbling up. It's still water still going down. You can see the water is moving down because I just did that. And matter of fact, I'll show you that you can see the dry pockets here already starting. So you know it's still absorbing. It's still expanding. So uh, I'm trying to expedite this and as you can see here is the uh, corn cob granules that is left on the SK Wayne screwdriver to go SK Wayne a, a gig there. So after that's absorbed some more we're going to go ahead and put some more water in. But for the time being we're going to take the camera we're going to move into the garage mahal where as you if you're familiar with these videos we are doing a couple of series called World Land Speed Record Attempt for Hustler Raptor Z or Zero Turn. We're also doing another one, World Land Speed Record Attempt for Hustler Super Z. So we're going to go in there where the Super Z that drips like a sieve. We've been catching the uh, hydraulic fluid and oil on a little basting pan or whatever you call it where you put under a turkey. So it's in there now. Let's go look at it. We're going to put some of this stuff on it. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to measure it out evenly and see which one absorbs the most oil. So here we go. All right. Now what I'm going to do, as you can see, through the middle of this pan here, right through here, this side has got much more oil. It's much deeper than this side, which is oil dry. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take one level scoop of this oil dry. We'll start right here. We're going to try to capture it. We don't want it going anywhere. We don't want the EPA being in here. Now, we're going to build a little dam right here, halfway. Alright. We're going to try to use one scoop to absorb this. Alright. Now, we're going to take one scoop of this, Anderson's Corn Cob Medium. Alright. Now then, let's we'll start doing the same thing here. Whoops, built a bunch of it out on the side. My fault. Been a little bit reckless. Now I'm I'm really not giving this stuff um, much chance to compete, to be honest with you. Because one scoop of this over this larger area really is not showing Anderson a, <laughs> a a fair fight here. However, we're going to let it absorb for a little while and see how it does on this hydraulic fluid. Then we'll probably dig out the black oil. Now we have some oil here on the floor too, so we're going to do the same thing with that here shortly where it's absorbing directly off the concrete. Hopefully you're uh, getting a good test here for your thinking because I was around uh, automotive machine shop and repair shops for and race car shops for many many years and believe me uh, and I also used to be a distributor for uh, oil dry made in Multan, Alabama and it was white dietaceous earth or white clay most absorbent oil dry there is 
and uh, we'd sell around 40, 50 trailloads that stuff a, a month. And uh, there were weeks where we sold that much in a week, depending on the uh, on how fast industry was going. And uh, look here, guys. Whoop, I just dumped a bunch of it in. Uh, look at that. Now, this little dab right here, as you can see, oil dry has almost totally absorbed as much as this is going to absorb right here. You see that? Let me see if I can see on the camera. We may have to move some of this over to here to uh, Now we're going to let that absorb a little while and see if that comes all the way through this corn cob media because right now at this time that's looking really really good I mean this stuff is looking much better than this so Anderson looks like you're doing good so far now we need a fire out here of some sort where can we we need to put something on fire because you know what we're going to see if we can put out a fire with earth well let's no, see if we do that with earth that means we've got to do it with corn too huh so let's see how that works let me see if I can set up a place to set something on fire that's probably not real wise but we're going to do it anyway so uh, I'll get this back out of the way and well, I hate to move that because you'll think I've been messing with it. I was going to go ahead and put some stuff down here. So let me do this. Let me get the oil dry first. We'll put, because I think the camera can see that real well. We'll put half right there. And that's oil directly on the floor, guys. As you can see, which is usually where we have our oils. And there's some comes all the way over here, so because this thing did overflow. All right, now let's put some right over here. Y'all gonna want to probably run through this and cut out what's not interesting to you. And if you don't find any of this interesting, I've really wasted your time, and I apologize for it. But at the same time, this is something that might be a real good purchase for you in the future. Is uh, some Anderson Dryzorb. This is Dryzorb, and it is the premium all-purpose, which means it's fairly fine. It's re actually really fine ground. So let's let that set for a little bit. And it looks to me like it's going to come on through here in places. This is really about settled in now. Well, no, it's still pretty oily on the bottom. And, by golly, that's looking pretty good. So, let's let that set for a little bit. I'm going to find something set on fire. I'll be right back. Okay, so, we're still watching. Whoops, I guess the camera fell down. All right, there we go. Had a little bit loose. All right, so we're still watching this. But let's go over here and we try to figure out what we're going to use for our burn test here. For our, let me lock that camera so it didn't get droopy on you again. Alright, so here we go. Now I'm going to show you what I've done here. I've got two pairs of paper towels, which is not much of a fire, but we don't want much of fire inside the house here. But I'm going to show you what's inside the paper. Alright, now over here we've got a paper towel with regular paper towel with a dirty paper towel inside. It's got just a little bit of, of oil and grease on it, not a lot. So we're going to use this for the oil dry right there. See if it's in. There you go. This one right here has got a lot of oil and grease on it wrapped up inside just a regular paper towel 
And we're going to try to wad it up pretty good here. On top of oily spot. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and get our oil dry here, ready to go. And I'm going to set this sucker on fire now. Let her get going good. I know y'all were looking for a great big bonfire probably, but let that get that oil start burning in there. That little dab of grease. Hell yeah, that's getting somewhere now. So let's go ahead and snuff it out. Okay, still got a little bit of embers there. So let's do this. Let's take our big lighter here. <laughs> but oil dry will put out a fire. Okay. Especially if you get enough of it on there. Now, this may be a horse of a different color. I'm going to back up here. <laughs> I'm going to set this one on fire. Because it's going to burn a lot hotter and a lot faster. Once it gets to going, let's give it some more here. And let's get our oil dry ready here. Or, now this stuff probably going to burn right here, so it may be a big mistake. Yeah, I believe that's not going to work. I believe we're going to have a bigger fire than we really want. So, okay, I would not recommend. <laughs> now it's still smoldering over here too, so in all fairness, that's really not a good test because anybody in their right mind, and I don't care who you are, you ain't going to be calling old Max in his right mind, that's for sure. But that's not a good test because we know that corn cobs will burn. We know that dirt doesn't burn. So as you still... We still got fire going on over here, guys. <laughs> Let's separate it from the corn. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me stamping that out or not. Okay. That was just for fun, so we knew that wasn't going to work. Okay, so let's go back over here and take a look at this again. And I'm going to spin you back around so that we're looking down here. Boy, you ought to smell that in here. If we had smell of vision. Lordy, that stinks. Now, I was actually going to go find something to move this around with. So, uh, tell you what, I've got this thing I made here to do another project with, but we're going to bar it. Just first, let's move this around and see if you can see that in there. See, I still got a lot of oil on the bottom, and that stuff is really saturated through this oil dry and I'll try to get you in closer as soon as I move all this stuff around because what we're really trying to do is give this oil dry a good chance but it looks like we're at the point we're going to do what I used to have to do in the shops is remove this and add more to it. Maybe the same thing over there with Anderson's, but we're going to find out, okay? So, let's go ahead and try to make this stuff do all it's going to do. Now, I'm going to mention something too. If you stop and think about this, how do you dispose of this material? How do you dispose of it in your shop? Let me put it that way. Do you. Uh, do you take it to a landfill or do you make sure your city will take it before you use your your garage for anything so uh, I mean that's something to think about is now if you're using this for water you could technically spread this back out let it dry either one of them and reuse this it'd take a while for either one of them to 
thoroughly dry out. The problem's going to be with this, either one of them, it's going to turn to a relatively big chunk of clay, or that's going to turn to a big, big mud puddle <laughs> of corn. That's okay. But technically, I believe you could reuse it. Now, let me go ahead and get this off. And, here we go. I brought another paper towel over here to wipe my fingers on. So let's go ahead and wipe that. Now, let's look at this. Can you see the bottom of the pan? I believe either one of them is going to leave some residual oil behind it appears. However, with that said, this still has some absorbency left that if we rotate this top down to the bottom, that same amount of oil absorb will dry. May it take this up. So let's just rotate it real quick and let that continue to work. Let's we'll see if we can figure out which one of these is going to do the job. Now remember, this material here was probably three to, well it's probably five to six times more oil than this side because this side I can get my fingers all the way under to right here. There we go. To right there under the pan. So this is real shallow. This is real deep over here. And this came right through here and over this way and up to here. This came here, made a little scoop in this way and a little dab right here. And this side right here, I don't know if you can see my fingers, but I can get my fingers under this as well. So this probably only had this probably only had about an ounce of oil. This probably had closer to three ounces. So that's considerably more. I'd say probably 300% or 3 to 1. So this stuff right here so far is still the winner. So there's all kinds of liquids you could test on this stuff. But so far I think we've got a winner here guys. We've tested it with water and I haven't put five times as much water in it, but we have already put three. And I went, walked in there a minute ago and took a look at it, and it's looking pretty good. Now, let's go ahead, get this off here. And don't be like old Max, wear your rubber gloves when you mess with stuff like this. This stuff will, it can absorb into your skin. I mean, let's face it, if you put something in your tongue, or medicine, that's a chemical, oil is really not a chemical per se, but let's do this. I'm going to use the foot here, which is the way you normally do it in the, in the shop. Take the foot and do that right there. Alright, let's do the same thing with this over here. That floor is dry. It's drier than this. So, technically, this stuff is again directly on the concrete is working better than the clay, diatomaceous earth. So, we've got another test we're going to do before we leave. Because I think we've pretty much, pretty much determined, in my way of thinking, which one will absorb the most. But there's one more test I want to do, and I'm going to have to go manufacture something to do it with, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Before I go back in there and we look at the water, we're going to, uh, we're going to set up and let me make something to, uh, to test this with here in just a moment. And I'm going to tell you what it's going to do. It's going to entail dry concrete. So hang on, be right back. Hey. Y'all follow me. I'm going to go right back over here. Remember that little fire test we did a while ago? Over there. Y'all remember that? Right over there? I think you can see it in the corner. Yeah, but let's see. Right there. Remember that? Okay, well, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back over. We're going to look at this one more time. You see that? Okay. 
Now that you've seen that, I'm going to turn you all around. Put this right here. Now can you see this right here? Right there. Okay. This is oil dry. That's Anderson's oil absorbent. So, see that spot right there? See that oil spot? Alright, here's what we're going to do. Back in my shops, for decades, when we'd have these oil spills, after we get the oil picked up, you have these oil stains. And we'd take this oil dry, and uh, I'd have the guy sort of do a little mamba, and what I had was I had some 2x6s, and 2 6 about that wide, it looked like this. Now, can you see that? You have your foot here, have a strap go over your toe, and go behind your heel, you lay that down, and you just walk around, just scrubbing your feet like that. And what that'll do, of course you can't do it without straps, what that'll do, is that'll help that oil dry get into the concrete, and absorb even further and take up that stain. So we're going to try that right here. And as you can see, I'm giving it a pretty good 230 pound scrub. Get a little tiny broom here. I know I got one. I used to own one. Hid the thing, I guess. All right. Well, didn't <laughs> didn't really expect to do this little test, but let's go ahead and get this over here. I want to use part of that scrub area right there. Here we go. Now I know that this stuff, you can use it to, uh, and I've used this in my uh, bead blaster to, and I always use glass beads, but I have used this for cleaning up bullet cases and, and other things when I was using it to um, take, remove rust from bare metal. And it, man, this stuff works great for that. If you got a, if you guys are reloaders and or whatever. Now I'm going to scoot this out of the way. See if you can see that stain pretty good. Alright. Right here is where we were working. Okay. I'm going to say that this side, the Diatomaceous earth or the burnt clay, baked clay, does a better job than, than the corn medium. Tell you what, let me get a broom. Like I said, now let's get as much dust out of it as we can. Alright. Now, right about there is a division line. Right here. So which side do you think did best? This is working. Let me give it a little bit, a little bit more. Okay. There you go. Now let's go ahead and bring a little bit of this stuff back over here. We don't want to get over there and cheat anybody here. Now, y'all see any difference one way or the other? Okay. 
So either one's going to do the job. This is not going to be as clean looking as that as far as the, but you're going to have to use a whole lot more of this than you are of this to get to this dry point right here. So dollar for dollar, this stuff right here, depending on what you're absorbing in your urgency and what your needs are, then the Andersons may be the exact key to unlock the success of absorbing your oils and fluids. So let's go ahead and stop this here. Let's go back in and let's check on the water. Be right back. Okay, let's see where we're at here. Whoop, still got a little fluid there. But now let's see. Already we are at six inches and over here we are two and three eighths. So and on top of two and three eighths there's that is part of that's water. So where were we here guys? Do y'all remember the count? You know, I'm old, fat, and ugly, so I'm not really sure I remember this, but let's go ahead. We've got 10 more ounces here. That's two more. That's four more. So, is that 24 ounces of water so far? Let's get, let's get the old SK Wayne screwdriver out here. See if we can get that to take you more down at the bottom. By sending it to the bottom. Now this is not the way I saw the demonstration. I'm uh, I'm sort of loading the deck or stacking the deck against the Anderson family here. <laughs> I'm sure that they're probably going to call me and tell me about it. And that's okay, because I told them I was going to abuse this, <laughs> and I'm doing just that. So, so far, let's see. All right. You've got, we have five ounces of water here, and I'd say probably an ounce of it is still liquid and still above the solid. So, let's take a look at it. And I really don't think that's going to absorb anymore. I know we certainly can't turn it over. Okay. Now, I've got this from here up. It's pretty liquid form. From here down, it's still got some solidity to it, but I can see moisture to here. And this now this is beginning to separate again, so it may still be absorbing. Looks like it could be. But let's see, five into twenty-five, that's five times. Um this still has a little liquid. This is going to settle down some. And it's going to take a while because it's still absorbing some. So let's call this a, this a, a victory for Andersons. And uh, I'm going to give you their, what their um, logo looks like again. And I'll probably put this up over there, over there uh, for a thumbnail. And I'm going to put a link to their company down below. Leave me comments on what you think about it. And uh, if you think of some more, uh, more tests that you'd like to see on their products, they have all kinds of products. Please, by all means, go over to the Anderson, um, the Andersons, as you can see here, um, site and look at all their products they have all kinds of products and uh, they absorb all kinds of things so uh, if you're in need of any of that sort of stuff 
and you're finding this is really not doing what you want it to do, give these people a shot because I, you know, I'm going to say their claims are accurate. If they're not accurate, it's because I probably did something wrong. I mean, I'm just just a average old boy here trying to to uh, find products for you that you might use around the shop and uh, and the home because this stuff's good for the home. Your cats could eat this stuff, you know, so <laughs> they're not going to eat this, but they certainly can eat that. And um, so as they lick their paws, you don't have to worry about anything, any chemicals in here that's going to hurt them because there's no chemicals. It's just straight up corn cobs from best I understand. So I'm going to call that success. Um, for fluid absorbency, Anderson's, you got it. For that includes oil. You got it. I didn't do the black oil because I already had some on the floor and I thought, well, there's no sense in making another stain. So we used the stain on the floor to do that little test where I did the, the sanding into the floor with the two medias. And um, I'm going to say that oil dry has got a little hand up on them, but it's still close. And I'm still going to give Anderson's a thumbs up on absorbency. Um, I'm going to give oil dry the thumbs up for putting out fires, which is not something you're going to use it for. But if you want to, you can because it will put out fires. Um, you can use um, the oil dry for a lot fewer things, I think, than you can with the Anderson. So if you got anything out of this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, a like, and um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, share these videos with others. And uh, as I said, go by Anderson's and take a look, see what they've got. Read their information because it's very, very uh, thorough. The specifications on it, it's going through uh, the agriculture um, community and it helps them out as well. So. Uh, and our farmers need some help this time of year, as do all of our all of our industries. So, uh, by all means, please check both of these manufacturers out. I didn't give you a name of this manufacturer, and I'm not going to, uh, because this was me testing this for you guys, and this could be any brand. Uh, these are people the ones that makes this, so I couldn't just pull four or five brands in here. So that's the reason why I made sure you knew their company name. So again, appreciate you coming by Max's Garage Mahal. And as we always say here at Max's Garage Mahal, y'all come back and see us now, you hear?